Okay, this is a patient where he has molar teeth treated in period department. They want to salvage the teeth, okay? But the result at the end, the result at are teeth molars with exposed frication areas, okay? Can you show me the other image that you just shown in, in a while? Yeah, these teeth. Okay, what are the managements? Of course, the remaining root is extraction, okay? But what about these molars? You are asking, do I do a complete denture clearance or not? Do I treat these teeth or not? What happens is, with teeth that have been previously periodontally involved, we have two reactions. Either we have the teeth causing alveolar resorption, the inflammation and around the teeth and the periodontal ligaments caused alveolar resorption and the, we lost bone, or sometimes exostosis. Whatever, I have the option to leave the teeth with poor prognosis, yani I have this option where I can make a transitional denture, okay? Leave the teeth and let him serve them five, three, four, five years until they, he decides to do clearance or the teeth fall by themselves. But what is the problem if we leave teeth that cause resorption? If we have active disease and the patient does not control it and does not maintain his periodontal status after treatments and after scaling and after curettage and all of these treatments, we are losing more bone. If we leave the tooth, we're losing more bone. So go and assess the bone left, okay? If you have sufficient bone, you have bulky bone, you have enough bone, if one or two millimeters around five years are lost, are okay. But if I have already minimized bone and other bone, I don't want to risk losing any more. So I'm shifting my decision more towards clearance than for a partial denture, a transitional. So the idea is that what is the danger of, lo uh, of leaving a tooth that has a periodont active periodontal disease, once more, I try to save it. I do my periodontal uh, armamentarium totally. Anything periodontal, I could do surgeries, microsurgeries. I save the teeth as much as possible. But if the patient could not maintain oral hygiene and maintain periodontal indices close to zero, I'm uh, with no signs of inflammation, bleeding, zero bleeding, then I, I, I might lose more bone. So uh, assess the bone as well, not only the tooth. Thank you.